Lift your glass and drink your water. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Shout out to Joe Berry. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. 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 Dream. It's going down, family. It's going down. I'm a little bit behind, but it is. Dream. Today for Kwanzaa is Nia. We'll talk a little bit about Nia. We'll talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's going on. Lines are open at 614-45. Lines are open. So we can have open discussion, family. So I'm gonna stay up here for a little while. Uh-oh, they got questions and answers up here. Hold on. I'm trying to. So I'm trying to post up the, the number where you call in or you could um you can stream in over your computer. We are also live on YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? So um you go to my YouTube page. Going on. Hmm, we're not playing here at Giami Journey. I'm trying to get the word out. I'm trying to get the message out. This is what I do. Since they didn't pull the black news off. I got to at least edify you with some of the stuff that I got for you, right? That's what I do. That's what I do. For that, I'm going to continue being on for that. So last night, Kwanzaa was incredible. Where is my Kwanzaa schedule? My Kwanzaa schedule is here somewhere. But we got a couple of things I want to share with you that I got at Kwanzaa. Bracelet upstairs. Can you, go, can you look on the dresser and give me my... My um, bracelet, <laughs> my cheat seats are not ready. Okay. Look like I'm going to have to go get it myself, you know. I don't care about your shoe. I don't care. All right. All right, family. I'm still on. Yeah, my cheat sheet appeared because I've been imitating me. Because I've been imitating me and, and took my cheat sheet. I don't need it. I mean, I do need it, but I don't need it. Need it. You know, I got one cheat sheet. It is not around. Oh, there you go. I'm scared you too. We on. All right, so. B 
dance party hosted by Donnell Hughes Events and Entertainment. It's an African dance class at 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Um, the cost is $10. Party from 10 p.m. And, okay, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Kicking it all night. It's at the Double Tree Hotel, Columbus. So, um, see your face in the place. I'll probably be there for the African dance party. I have, I have to decide. But then on on the money for us, for Kaumba, for um, Kwanzaa, everything at the Millennium Community School. We will have divine conversations from 10 to 12. That's going to be, uh, is going to be led. And he's going to show the connection, math, our history, my comedics. Um, see, Lo, thank you for stopping in. We will have a care move from 12 to 2 p.m. Care move means that the family is going to feed the family. So family, I will bring some more ambrosia, sip and talk. We're gonna have this Kwanzaa time celebration. Um, uh, it's gonna be a drum and dance celebration at 5 p.m. So there's gonna be some dancing going on. Introduce the young, young people to some African dance. Introduce some of the old people to African dance. Because remember, four things that you need to keep going in order to stay healthy. Now, breathing right, amounts of water. With, and in some cases, we're not drinking the right water. And we're not eating culturally appropriate food. We are not also, I want y'all to stress this, we are not getting enough movement. So we got to start moving, family. So um, we're going to have Drum and Dance with Children by Queen Fatima. We're going to have the Father and Son Connection by with Derek Lundy. Please, the, in, the Nguza Saba message by the name of Yarima Karama. I heard this, brother. You bring some of the young people because he will entice them. He was one of the only speakers before my kids at the school prayed and left them with their mouth wide open. Up with a freestyle that was just ridiculous. The kids couldn't even the kids couldn't even believe that somebody his age was able to kick a freestyle in the way that he did. Then he started making sense. So my fault. He was making sense through the freestyle. Then he connected his whole speech talking about in his freestyle. You know, family, you, you listen, we are talented people. So today, all the stuff will be at the Double Tree. Tomorrow at the Millennial Community School. Shouts out to Brother Kwame. I see you out there. Um, Brother Kwame will be speaking about Mayak Comedics, and he's gonna show the uh, connection of, to, uh, of African history of mathematics, and he's going to discuss how we use mathematics to develop our thinking skills. Family, be sure to be in the place, right? Because we're going to turn it out. And then on top of that, we're going to eat as a family. So we're going to be together all day, the first, right? So those of you that tune in to me, you already know what the day is. It's for us. It's Kuumba. It's Nia. So we're gonna talk about a little bit. We're gonna talk a little bit about Nia. But first, let me get let, let's make sure the ancestors get fed this morning. Our family, get your water out, and don't do it in a plastic cup, mug, or or get a glass. You know what I'm saying? Come on, family. Well, we do we do grown fashion. Kids can participate. Nia Habari Ghani. That's right. Mm. Water. Get the water. All right, so. Oh, ambrosia left because uh, my part of the uh, care move was ambrosia. I'm going to take some more tomorrow. Um, after to sell later on, but if not, 
for the toast. And I'm gonna brew some more soon. So mm. all right, let me show you some of the stuff you get at Quan. And, and she was doing and other stuff. This is a nice little bracelet that I picked up at Kwanzaa. Um, we had plenty of great vendors there. We're making jewelry right on the spot. Others could make jewelry for you. I mean, uh, it was it was marvelous. Did you take the ambrosia with the crushed black seeds? Oh no 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 no, brother brother. Now slow down with the crushed black seeds is for special order and those special individuals who had the insight to say hey let me try that All right so you know but we gonna toast with a little bit of black seed i ain't got the ginseng you know what i'm saying so we're gonna toast with that um um there were uh miss tiff shut uh set up last night beautiful stuff out there um, Brother Alumala uh, came through. Those that don't know, I am a great fan, right? You know what I'm saying? I, Amos Wilson, you know, I can sit down and watch for a long time. But um, I've been waiting for a book from Brother, you know what I'm saying? The Blueprint for Black Power through for brother hot tim last night look at that yeah 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 and uh this is a book i highly suggest this is a blueprint for black power a moral political and economic imperative for the 21st century in wilson arms of manhood in black and white God. I got issues for manhood in black and white, an incisive look into the masculinity and the societal definition of African manhood. What are these books for nothing? Man, hey, what this, what this book is about. Let me just read the back to you. Into the coming millennia is, imper is, is imperiled by white and Asian power nest in the ownership of the real estate wherever African people dwell determines biological destiny. Black power details a master plan for the power revolution necessary for black survival in the 21st century. Men of African Americans, despite a myriad of theories explaining white behavior, ultimately rest on the fact that they can the power to do so such a power differential must be neutralized if blacks are to prosper in the 21st century Americans earn a take-home salary of near 500 billion yearly this not to mention the trillions they generate and only five percent of this income nation the economy will be the eighth or ninth largest in the world african americans possess potential to amass effectual social political and economic power and thus control their destiny and secure their liberation that we're the african-american community to see itself, were the African American community to see itself as indeed as a de facto nation, then the scourges of poverty, disemployment, crime, miseducation, wanton consumerism, alienated and deficit spending, misleadership, and powerlessness will be drastically reduced, if not eliminated. That an African American, Caribbean, Pan African, most potent for the generation and delivery of black estates in the world to to um counter to counter white and asian power networks 
imperative by deconstructing the, the U.S. elite power structure of government, think tanks, corporations, foundations, media, lobbyists, interest groups, banking, and foreign investment particulars. Um, black instruct institutions as the church, media, and think tanks industry, such as investment clubs and credit unions, associations such as African or uh, Asusus, Tontons, are uh, analyzed black nationalism, ethnocentrism are uh, assessed. Use and underuse financial institutions as securities, mutual funds, stocks, incubators advocated, thus elucidating Opportunities for economic empowerment. Delegates and roundly critiques the black uh, psychophantic Burgoyce political leadership for their historic moralizing of black social economic conditions, problematic ineptitude. The, cons the consequences of black obsolescence op op annihilation. A blueprint for black power stops not at critique, radical practical theories, approaches for true power. It gives a biting look into black potentiality, eight treaties into the protracted. You know I had this before. Stole it. Go get this one. So now, let's look at this one. Manhood in black and white. The masculinity definition of African man in Wilson. Let's get ready for some of these words. I need my glasses. I left it in the car. The key to examine issues of manhood is mandatory. The mere mention of manhood conjures up the uh, conjures up debate, often hostile, polarized. Definition seems ever changing, under challenging, and view of behavior often confusing, violent, sometimes immature and invariably non-productive frequently to the detriment of the black community, manhood stokes discussion and search, even status quo overthrow. The age old issue of what is a man, man as leader, provider and producer is encased in a political, economic, social and geopolitical framework in the manufacture and control of dominating powers, oft times ruthless American opportunities to succeed are curtailed. Few, poor, or inappropriate history deemed irrelevant without respite where city, state, and national government regimes care little to alleviate these conditions except line the coffers and class allies as the entitlement. My father Wilson takes this issue by the scrub in his accustomed way, rendering a serene, absolutely brilliant treaties historical time, although delivered over 25 years ago in view of right-wing races Office nationwide, he seems spot on prophetic. We partner with understanding black adolescent male violence. Well, Wilson again shows in detail how American society creates black adolescent criminality in its inner cities across the United States. Adolescent violence is rooted in historical and contemporary white on black violence. This is a continental African paradigm discussion and applicability males. 
dovetails with female understanding of black males. Selection, child ring, and steadfast family and community vital to tribe and nation. It meets the marks with plenty of overshot. Once a second look, challenging times. And his message, man, listen, family. These books. I mean, when you go when you go to the black events, because you know I hear people talk, complain about vendors, right? Vendors keep Juma flowing. That's when we have free events. If not for the vendors, there will be no free events. If not for the vendors, you know what I'm saying? Where would I get this? Stores are almost obsolete. Bookstores. I ordered this through Amazon. I could have ordered this through Amazon, but I wanted to make sure that some of the money passed. And actually, this right here gold is a straight line because Illumina has a direct connection with the publisher the printer because put some stuff in line before he left right and i'm hoping that the the press is still going so i'm in several black folks pockets by just purchasing these books right man so we talked about kwan's a little bit going on in the morning Nope, it's just the dance. Well, I mean, African dance class, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Double Tree Hotel is $10. I don't know who's doing the drum, I don't know who's doing the dance class. So if anybody out there know who's doing the drum class, please let me know. Shouts out to Miss Navita Nelson. Uh, oh man, you should have seen this ring she got. It's, uh, it's like a, a chakra. That she got. Oh, it's hot. Let's go and do this toast. And we'll have open discussion. So if anybody got anything out there they want to talk about, by all means, let's do it. By all means, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna do this toast. Our personal ancestors, the creator. What else comes up during the toast? So let's go and keep it moving. Shouts out to Miss Herb Jallo. You know what I'm saying? Stopping in the Giami journey. Um, I'm gonna have to call, I'm gonna have to bring her on and interview her. Want to? If you want to talk? You know what I'm saying? Feel free to call in unless you're under a contract obligation that you can't. Brother, you know what I'm saying? I can dig it. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, there you go. All right, cool. Let's post that up. And so now, come on, family. You can you can hit me on the other line on YouTube. Where's it at? Go with this foolishness, right? This foolishness here. I'm I'm trying, family. I'm trying. My computer moving slow. I don't know what's. Well, I do know what's going on. To be doing. You call in straight to Uber Conference. Um, the number's up there, 614-556-4535. Um, um, through your computer. And you I see you on there. You know what I'm saying? It's the freedom for spoken word. Um, well, you just put it up there. I'm going to get it. You trying to get her for tomorrow? What's going on? All right, so here we go, family. That's the list. Oh, before we begin to that, let's talk about this. All right, today for us, <clears throat> those that don't speak the language, activity, um, the the myotic principle is order, orange. Um, the hermetic law is cause and effect. Name that's born on this day is Kwame Amma. Now, I'm looking for my paperwork so that we can talk about these day names on the day of all next week. Please.
he's keep me on that. Help, help remind me. Shouts out to Miss Stephanie Jackson. Good to see you. Great, um, Abari Ghani for Malcolm X celebration. Oh, I see. See, listen, we already on to the next celebration, family. You know what I'm saying? Boom. We see because this is how one of the things that I used to run into in organizing was that organizing you have meetings, you didn't have. Um, my goals would just be meeting for meeting sake. I'm even study group. You need to have goals to keep people busy so that you can keep the fuckery down. You know what I'm saying? We have you one of the major resources that we have not figured out how to use yet is the fuckery. It seems to be an abundance. We have to do we have to figure out how to block chain that fuckery so that we can start building it towards something but until then we got to keep busy with activities and actually planning shit with a with a goal like kwanzaa like the malcolm x celebration and stuff like that I, you know so we can keep people busy until we come up with a blockchain about how to guide the fuckery to where we needed to go because this fuckery is just ridiculous sometimes. All right. So if you was born on a desert male, the name is Kwame. But far as Kwanzaa today is Nia. Nia is purpose. Things on purpose. Family. Get, get out the accidental life club. Need to start finding your purpose on purpose. Stop living on accident. Come down to life because you're living on accident. You're an accident waiting to happen. Start focusing your life and living life on purpose. Start building a community on purpose. You know what I'm saying? This is something that we have to start doing. If we do not, the possibility that we will not make it through the 21st century. Are not playing with us. We have to understand. The only ones, we the only ones that's talking about play or play on. You know what I'm saying? Play, play, play. These motherfuckers are serious with this game, right? And we got to get serious with it, right? We had years of practice. Now it's time for us to start building ourselves on purpose, building our collectives on purpose, and giving them purpose so that we could be guided. One of the things that keeps fuckery down is people that are on purpose. You know what I'm saying? You accidentally run into fuckery. And because we are accidents, because we are not building on purpose, we run into fuckery, right? For those that don't know what fuckery is, it's mayhem. Um, uh, Sister Christine, Miss Celo says, I am looking for a calendar that has the days of the week as you name them. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to hook up with Brother Renee, but I won't be able to extra copies around, or I can email it to you, updated, right? Because this one I'm using is all the way from August. The ones on. Wait a minute, you signed up for the um Inguza Cyber Challenge? A calendar should come out. It's old. Come out. <clears throat> so um. Um, but for purpose, the myotic principle that, that lines up with that on this day of the week is balance. The hermetic law is rhythm. Kofi, female name is a four. So of course, on purpose, the balance. We start finding the balance. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You, if you find somebody off purpose, usually what you find is somebody that's totally off balance. But again, because it should, you, it should, it's coming to you. It won't come up to you all at once. So check your email. Again, you don't have to sign up more than once because staggered. I had a delivery stacker, um, and I'm gonna have to go in and update that. Now, for Matt. Emotional emancipation circles are looking for healing, cultural virtue uh, for the day. And we'll 
itself, the character or the, the virtue of Job, good character, just, honest, righteous. Strong character in traditional Yoruba, this Oju Inu, insight. All right, so moving. So we lift up our glass, family. We toast. My fault. We toast the creator by whatever name you choose to call it, creator. We lift and we salute that energy. Right? Creator. Right? So we move from there. We move on to our personal ancestors, right? By the way, observations last night, I cut it short. I can run through all of it. Yeah, I know how to do the whole libation, but I choose to do this one like this because I neglect. That's just, I honestly do. Every time I make it to that point, I, I'm trying to hype it up. I want our ancestors out there to know still us, and we 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 understand that they are still connected to us, right? So I want to make sure feel our love. Lift up our glass to our personal ancestors and we toast them and we 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 ask um we ask them for the assistance in the journey that we are on. Class and we toast the likes of Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Tech Center Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva Brown. Shella, Cecil Ellis, Avira Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Twigs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapp, Q Pittman and L, No More X. Um, Brian Watson Jr., and Kaniko Parsons. Um, yeah. um, no More X, Pet My Rock. Ma Ra, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Tony Clark, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro, Actor Jr., J. Atwood, Carla Harris, Grace London, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, Mrs. E. Edith Brooks. Shouts out to Miss Sasha Moss. Come on over so they can see you. Looking all rough early in the morning. Facebook, right? All right. Um, Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trigg, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, jo um, Daniel Ford. George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Eric Randleman. Can you go in there and open that uh, microwave so it can stop beeping? Justice Katie, Justice Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Robin Spratling, Smith Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Carolyn D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Burr Beatty, Sarah Well, Lovita Farmer, Agosa Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Evelyn, Deolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, it be Thornton, Pro G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther, Keechler Reese, Linda Watson, Hammonds, Jarrell Giles, um, Jarrell Giles Watson, Emmy, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Booker T. Bolden, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, 
Johnson, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, E.M. Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Barham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Gray, Gross, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Les Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amotet Wellman, Elder Amotet Wellman, well, Trig Sr., Delma Triggs, Thomas and Lou Berry, um, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank Russell Davis, Fred Douglas, Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas and Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Alexander, Mark Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, and Ellis Murphy. We lift up our glass and we toast those ancestors, those personal ancestors that's rolling off my tongue that impacted the, the listeners and the watchers of Giami Journey. So we lift up and we ask for their blessings, we ask for their guidance, we ask for their wisdom, and we also send our energy, we send our ashe, our ancestors. Never have to worry about the proverb that says is being forgotten because we will never forget ours. And family, this list is going to continue to grow and we're going to pass it on to the generations so that they can continue reading them. Because one day, and hopefully we will be honored and honored ancestors, built them a legacy that they can stand on. Stand on forever. Or glad. I say from there, we move on to the present moment. We salute this moment. It's our power. So we lift up our glass and we say, I say, future generations. Go on, way better, Sasha. This is one of them. Gosh. Oh, okay, she may. She she's still asleep. All right. So we lift up our glass and we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Tide goes down around here because we're not planning for just tomorrow. Eternity. For just tomorrow. We go for eternity. That's what she said to me. Where are our monuments? Family. So we lift up the glass and we toast our future. Children's children on to infinity. Last but not least. We toast to all our relations. Relations. I'll go into that on another thing last, but not least, I toast you for taking the time and rising with me and, and toasting with me. Your help drink with me. Now, the rules of the toast is the water, and you got to have a help drink. So, you got green tea, you got another type of kombucha, um, a, a smoothie. Type of health drink because we can't toast our ancestors if we're not taking care of ourselves. Can't toast our ancestors if we're not taking care of ourselves. So lift up your glass. Ashe, 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 power and joy. Years. All right. Like I said, some hanging from a tree. That's right. She's talking about the masses. These are those who die for us. Tree. And some of us are old enough. Sisters. Age family. We got to understand. I'm saying we are under, we are, we have to learn how to protect ourselves. We have to learn how to do for ourselves. It's cool. It's but we always need to make sure we got a foundation so that when others start tripping, all of y'all know how good it feels when you go over that certain person's house and you always can go back to your crib. Your crib. See? Boom. It's always good to have your own trip. When you ride with them to a party, you're riding with them to the mall, or you're riding with them wherever you go. It's always good when they start tripping. You get out your car. Say, listen, I, maybe, I, maybe I'll meet you up there. It's always good to have your own. We do that as individuals. We got to do it. Do it. People. And we 
got to have our own. So when they start tripping, when the great pumpkin say some shit out of his mouth, you know, we going back to our own. You know what I'm saying? We can do our own thing. Kenny Jackson, Miss Cilo says, not white Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Double our glasses, family, and we toast. Conversation is on. Y'all can hit me up. Facebook timeline about something y'all want to discuss. Y'all can hit me up. Spreaker app. I can see you. I'm gonna send out an invite so you can get it. What's up with that? All right, but you know you gone. I actually don't have to do that. I can just post something up. I ain't posted that up. So you can hit me up on that app. I just put up, hey. Hey. Sitting here because she thinks she's going to get this done. <laughs> Trick for her. All right, so you can hit me up on that, or you can just come over to the Uber conference and we can, we can chat it up, family. Let's talk about the principles of Kwanzaa. Let's talk about the Kwanzaa celebrations. Let's talk about how we done had the liveest Kwanzaa celebration. G family. You know what I'm saying? I, and, you know, we had comedians come out. We had magicians come out. We had African dancers. We had um, a modern dancers. Uh, we, we had a good time. We had a, a marvelous caribou yesterday. We provided ourselves with fish and chicken. We had the vegetarian meals. We had some great vendors, some great food vendors for the last, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna close this thing down properly. And this, the, the pe pe please understand that doing this holiday is a cultural stabilizer. Because Kwanzaa could do one of two things. People into the fold or push them out. Right? And what we want to do is we want to have people to come together and run into family. Right? I'm looking at some of these names on here, right? Some of these names. And I'm wondering how many, how many degrees am I separated from some of these people on this list just here in Columbus? I, I'm um, um, in pouring libations. Brother, speak the other day that I know we I known him since I was 18 years old. Yeah, I met the brothers, beautiful brothers, and they said that their mother's last name was Brown. Um, toast to uh, Miss Penny Brown, um, Miss Penny Willoughby. You know what I'm saying? But her maiden name is Brown. I'm like Brown. Cousin. I mean, not just because we already call each other brothers. Cousins are really just brothers and sisters. You know, just it, it's there. It's, oh, what's up, Mr. Riggins? How are you doing this morning? Yo, I'm going to hold the lines open for a little while longer. Call in. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about the book I got, this material. Bottom. Amos Wilson, family, listen. Powerful speaker. Make sure you get into his information, right? Because he talks about education. He talks about economics. He talks about um, the socialization process. He talks about psychology. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I mean, this dude, um, 80s, 90s, and it's like, like everything that he's talking about is coming. Right now, that's what you call prophecy, right? So make sure that y'all get um, staying in tune, right? Understand this, family. We're building, right? We've been building. It's been building for a while. So we're going to really start building now, right? I mean, well, let me put it this way. They've really been building, but now I'm on, now I'm on board, right? So in Columbus, we're about to do some things. We're going to need for family. So be look on the lookout for events by Tawi Village. Of course, you know, Giami Tribe is in the house now, right? Be on the lookout for um, uh, warrior training. 
out because we, you know what I'm saying? I, everything is coming in 2018. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to wear myself out and do the sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I've done any everything and laid the foundation for my children, right? Laid the foundation for my children. So not only when they go to school, you should shake your head no for it. Yeah, you yeah, trying to be funny. So I to let y'all know that you are now listening to Giami Journey. Anime. Man, these animals are hard to work with. Please. For those that don't know anime, for now, listening to Giami Journey. Daily Toast is the heart of a symbol production. Can't do it no better than that, fam. Can't do it no better than that. So let's blow up some more paradigms. Throw up some topics. Throw up some stuff you want to hit on. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the open questions. Let's get it flowing. Let's get the conversation flowing, family. Like and share if you want. Bring some friends on. Let's kick it. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I don't know. No one outside. Y'all ain't got nowhere to go in Columbus. Car, you guys want to go at about eleven thirty? We got it. Come on now, let's go. Let's talk. Miss Cilo say Kwanzaa was dope. It was. It was. Yeah. Hey, listen. It's addictive. I wish I could do it all the time. But you know, if you do it all the time, become born. What? What are we gonna pull out next year? Laid it out this year. I don't even know how we're gonna compete. But one of the things we gotta talk about is how do we get as little kids, we keep them busy, but how do we get involved between the ages of 13, five or 30? Let's go like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm old enough to say it's somebody 30 is young ahead of me, but I don't care. I was shit. I was driving, fighting in the streets. So I'm old enough to say. Day. So how do we get 13 year old? You know what I'm saying? Because we need to really get them involved with the culture. And I ain't just talking about putting on African print. I'm talking about getting involved and really, really expressing the culture. My brother Kwame say, why did I read this morning? in the world is not in Africa but in Iraq well you know that argument been going on for a long time brother they are trying to say that the Sumerian and Babylonian texts as a matter of fact there are many um, many schools of thought that says that Babylonia and especially Babylon Maria are in Egypt you know what I'm saying? And now, to the writings in the 70s, 60s, and 70s, stitching, you know, still where they start talking about the aliens and shit like that. So, you know, you know, let, you know, like I said, family, you know, some stuff we don't even need to argue about, right? You know what I'm saying? We don't even need to argue about it because it's in the Babylonians. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because their their situation is very similar to Egypt. Um, they had two major rivers, at least well, at least one or two major rivers around which they built. You got to remember the popularity of Babylon because they could. They, it's easier for them. The origins of Babylon. I I don't get mad about because I understand the hustle, family. Right, I need to make sure my children know uh, is the cradle of civilization. Places were not cradles; they were just uh, sleeping boxes for babies. We had cradles in Africa that they're finding are just boxes 
They're not even cradles. They're just flat ground laid that the baby of civilization laid on. But the cradle was where she came up in, right? Show them the young brothers money use. See, not only making money, see, because a lot of our kids money. But when you see what they're doing, they're not really about money. You look at a they book, you know what I'm saying? They their faces in the phones, they're playing games. A lot of the young people are not really interested in even, I mean, they're interested in getting money, interested in making money. That's my assumption. I'll be looking at some of them. Like, you know, I get Cleve opportunities to say, Cleve, yo, man, you can make some money if you learn this programming, but I got to make them do it. Um, You know, um, and, and, and so parents were called the blackheads, and I don't get mad about it either. Just tickles me. That these old arguments that they never die and they never will because let me say this I expect no less none we should expect no less and they bring up the argument see because one of the things that we need to start doing is is like in a sense scholars that are in doing that type of research libraries but sending them over to our lands. They can go all throughout Africa and find the stuff on digs. So that we were gonna be like, we found this and we dated this back to uh, 50,000 years. You know what I'm saying? So then they'll go and find something. And, see, because you know, competition is healthy. See, you know what I'm saying? And one of the things I learned when I was young was, the times he's going to big up himself a lot more than he really is. This, this is street shit. You know what I'm saying? It's no different. Big up myself a lot. I, you know, I'll knock you out one punch, blah, blah, blah. You listen to some of these dudes, man. And it took me a long time coming up in my youth to realize that a lot of these individuals are just talking shit. So, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's the same thing in the history game. It's the same thing in the economics game. It's the same thing in the war game. You have to understand, right? That motherfuckers are always going to big up their shit. I don't know how to use the term. I don't like that shit. It's almost as if you admit the name Big Daddy. As a man, are you going to turn around and call that nigga Big Daddy? Nigga, I, nigga, Tyrone or whatever the fuck your name is, I'm not calling you Big Daddy. I'm around calling another system supremacy. You ain't supreme. You white nationalist, motherfucker. I ain't, I'm, I'm not going on that. Yep, and Tony Browder and Renoka Rashid told, matter of fact, recently um, sponsored, in some form or fashion, sponsored a dig in Egypt. Daughter was involved with it, but it's that type of work, so we don't have to really even be worried about see because they don't cut us off in the media, so that's for them. We got our own media that on a show like Gianni Journey or some of these other shows, we were able to go up new information about who we are. You understand what I'm saying? Powerful piece. She, is still traveling, looking for the African connection, doing, doing masterful research, bringing back the new information. Egypt doing doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But we need more teams because they're competing against the Harvards. They're competing against the Yales. They're competing against all these other large institutions. And we got to understand, man, colleges. These institutions of learning are tools of domination that you that that are used to solidify to solidify the white. We got to understand that's the primary goal, and, and until we understand that, up in our own institutions, because a lot of people, I mean, it don't take a lot. Um, Ohio State started with a couple of bonds. I'm saying it don't it don't take a lot. Buildings, 
right? We got all these places where we meeting. I want to bring to the collective is, you know, like for example, can an individual not only del deliver a sabe act, but why can an individual deliver on their specialty, so to speak, in some form or fashion? About our tribe, about our collective, as it grows, it becomes um, more citywide, more statewide more more national because we got authors here i don't write is not an author because in order for you to get a phd family i want y'all to think about this dissertation what what is a dissertation it's a piece of work that you write this is your area of expertise that you give so that they can add it to their archive african centered community we need to start doing the same thing so, so brother how tim i can't write well then cool maybe that's one of the fears that you might need to overcome they speak in public maybe that's one of the fears that is called initiation it's not supposed to be easy a dissertation is initiation the people's initiation isn't doing some of the shit that we do as an initiation my piece is now we want young people to come to Kwanzaa. Now, because this is my this is my take, right? See, not just the money making, but we have to kind of push young men and young women in the direction that we want them to go. Because one of the things that I was that 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 um through what I was doing, what I found out was come to Kwanzaa if I didn't make them come. So when I was doing the house, to, to, to certain things. Right, they didn't like it at first, but then once they got in there, see, because not only would I make them come, I would make they make them take their ass inside and say, so they'll come with you to satisfy you, but then fringes. If they were mine, if they was trying to get right in, in, in my family, recognize my family, you gonna bring your ass in here, sit down on point. See, there's a whole nother piece that we ain't, I mean, our, we, young people want to develop stuff. PhD is to define a problem, research the problem, and then provide your answer via a dissertation. Initiation, is it not? That's all it is. It's nothing but initiation, family. That's all it is. Fancy words for initiation. Research the problem and then provide your answer. Initiation. You understand what I'm saying? Without some of the physical stuff. But you know, we can provide the physical stuff for those that are able to do it. You know what I'm saying? And for some of those that are not able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because we need dissertation dissertations on health. We need dissertation. We need people looking at problems and solving problems in our community. See, and this is what we this is where we are far as today. As far as Kwanzaa, today is purpose. Once people start finding their purpose. Find a problem, problem, then they provide the answer to the problem. And what community got more problems than ours at this point in time, family? I'm waiting. There got to be somebody out there with more problems than us. Y'all can't tell me we the only ones with problems. There got to be more people out there with problems than us. So we got all these problems. We got a wealth of resources. See, yesterday was um, cooperative economics is 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 of controlling and monitoring resources. Now, what is the problem? A problem is an opportunity, which is basically a resource. It could become a hindrance or it could become a resource. Problems in our community they work in around the world i mean we sitting on wealth we got problems we come up with solutions family and we're gonna get rich it ain't just about wealth with me but the whole the hope i do need money to make shit happen 
So hey, I see nobody gonna call in. So uh, I am going to end this uh, podcast. Everybody took the time to, to t- tune in. Those viewers on YouTube. I want to thank those viewers on Facebook. I want to thank those listeners on Spreaker. That the journey comes to you every day in these three ways. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna keep it going for as long as I possibly can. I need to remind you, you are now listening to Geomi Journey Radio. I was about to get her. Geomi Journey. God, I mean, I, I mean, I'm trying to take care and feed. I mean, I feed these animals and stuff, and they can't even give me. Of course, you know, this is daily toast. This is the discussion part. The heart of a similar production. Strive, strive. Old paradigm. All right, family. Let's do some more to talk about. I'm about to get up. Sash. Peace. Mwah. I kissed you on camera.